Ali, Birmingham City's guest of honour this afternoon. Ali, who became a sporting legend by winning the heavyweight championship of the world on three separate occasions. And Liverpool's target of a third successive championship is also a feat of legendary proportions in a football sense. It's not been accomplished since Arsenal's three in a row in the mid-30s. Graham Souness has served a one-match suspension and returns in place of Craig Johnston, thus restoring Liverpool's starting lineup to a full complement of 11 internationals. But after another bad week for England, it's surely relevant that our reigning champions field only three Englishmen Phil Neal, Alan Kennedy and Sammy Lee. Ron Saunders, the Birmingham manager, has vastly improved the financial position at St Andrews. And this team, which includes three free transfer players, cost less than half the £450,000 Liverpool recently laid out for John Walk. Two of the bargain purchases from Aston Villa, Noel Blake and Robert Hopkins, are pressed back into surface, although they're not totally fit because the final stage of economic recovery does depend on staying in the first division. Today's referee, Ken Salmon from Southgate. It's the fourth confrontation between Birmingham City and Liverpool this season. A draw here in the Milk Cup in December with Liverpool winning the replay and Liverpool also winning at Anfield in the league, but only with a last-minute goal from Ian Rush. Liverpool attacking the goal to the left in the first half. Here's Ronnie Whelan. The pitch has been heavily watered. Phil Neal. Sammy Lee. Liverpool have won only one of their last four league games. Birmingham have slipped back into trouble by taking only one point from their last five. One by Billy Wright, the new Birmingham City captain. Here's Doug Leash, operating up front alongside Rush. And slipping was Walk. And Rush trying to quicken the tempo on the edge of the Birmingham area and the referee intervening to thwart an attempted pass by Harford who collects then, or half collects, from Brandon Howe. Ronnie Whelan, number five. And here's Graham Souness. Furthest forward for Liverpool is Walk. And Brandon Howe wanting the ball to run behind for the goal kick. John Walk was held off unfairly, as ruled the referee. Obstruction given against Vanden Howe. And a little gesture there suggests what the Birmingham left-back thought of the decision. But the referee ruling that the ball was not within playing distance. And Liverpool have a free kick, which Sammy Lee will take. And at the back post for Liverpool is Whelan, beaten by Blake. Whelan a second time. And then Rush. And then Dalgleish needing the save. From Tony Coton. And Birmingham still protesting for the award of the original free kick, which produced this problem. But a fine save from Coton from Dalgleish's header. Souness collecting the corner and Walk thwarted by Jim Hagen. Run out of play by Kevin Rogers. One of four former Aston Villa players in the Birmingham 12 today. Back pass from Vanden Howe. Ian. Harper's header as he was fouled by Neil. Nick Harford, who was sent off at Sunderland last Saturday. And he missed the last game of Birmingham's league season here against Southampton in a week's time. 
half had repositioned. And Drobola in trouble from Harford's jump. Played back by Gale Hopkins. With Drobola nowhere. It was a tight angle for Robert Hopkins. But Drobola was committed. And in fact, perhaps hindered by Alan Hansen's presence. Gale found Hopkins and how close it was. But the merit in the Birmingham style shown there in Ron Saunders' efforts here to make the best use of, with the greatest respect, more limited talents than Liverpool have at their disposal. And the plan very much to use Harford in the air and see what happens from there. Blake ahead of Rush. beating Hopkins and cool Hopkins got a touch this time Harford is onside a real chance for him and well saved Grobola although Harford will be bitterly disappointed Liverpool will certainly credit their goalkeeper who gave Harford very little time in which to make up his mind Hagen looking for the run of Roberts and finding it Cool. Hagen again. And now they look for Harford. And he wins it. Rogers, great save. Hopkins and Grobola. Tremendous goalkeeping. Harford, the provider again. The first effort from Rogers, beaten away by Grobola. Hopkins drove back the rebound. Grobelard recovered. Two superbly struck volleys, blocked by Bruce Grobola. though it was a save by Coton but the referee is pointed for a goal kick rush in the clear and off the goalkeeper's feet it should have been a corner right denying time for Dalglish Birmingham are allowing Liverpool a bit more control in their build-up. Unlike some central defenders in the first division, the likes of Hansen and Lawrenson, of course, do have the range and the quality in their passing. Lawrenson involved again, and Walk and Sunes tipped over by Coton. That's more the way Liverpool want to control the situation. Involved, then walk, and soon as stinging the goalkeeper's fingertips. Rush coming for the short corner. And allowed to collect it again and turn inside the Birmingham area. Lee meant for Birmingham by Hagen. Side. Oh. Time half 
Bradford Weiss a header. Hagen for Gale. Just be laid off. Roberts, Gale again. Now, his immediate opponent is Graham Sunes, who isn't the quickest player. Gale certainly has speed. And it's led to a corner. Now Gale exposing a lack of cover on Alan Kennedy by getting past Sunes. And scramble behind for another Birmingham corner. They've certainly created openings, but haven't produced a really telling final ball yet. Out from Sunes. Gale got a foot in. Harford. This time it's Hansen who puts the ball out of play. Cool. And again. Hopkins trying to get in front of Lawrenson. Wanted a free kick which wasn't forthcoming. Sunes losing out initially to Gale, but showed far greater determination in the tackle. Hansen. Barclays having to check back against Roberts. Here's Lee. Now on to Liverpool to his right. He's looking to the feet of Rush. Lawrence. Birmingham taking their turn now to regroup. Sunes. Neil taking up a position in the centre of midfield. And Kennedy. And this time it's Coton who produces the spectacular response. It's certainly been a first half in which to admire both goalkeepers. And this time, Alan Kennedy, a scorer against Liverpool a week ago, thwarted here by Tony Coton. Dalglish with the corner, and Liverpool had left a space there, which Walk was trying to fill. It's quite interesting to watch Liverpool at corners. To dot the more commonplace set pieces, just putting numbers in at the near post, for example. And they often come up with useful varieties, and with John Walk now to attack the ball, we're looking for him at the far post. Harford. Harford with a word out of place to the referee. Sent off yeah. twice in the last six weeks, Harford. At Stoke and at Sunderland. Well, so often games of great importance to two sides are tense affairs but how uninhibited this has been and it's only because of the likes of Bruce Grubler for Liverpool and Tony Curtin for Birmingham and their goalkeeping talents that we arrive at half time with a goalless scoreline Birmingham City nil, Liverpool nil In more recent history Birmingham have won none of the last 12 League and Cup meetings between the two sides but they certainly created openings in the first 45 minutes. But here's Rush trying to create for Liverpool. Rodgers and Harford not quite getting enough power into that guided header, which was aimed into the path of Hopkins. Blake. Just bypassing Dalglish's attempt to intercept.
Hagen. Hagen again. And Harford able to win it in front of Lawrenson. Gale receiving from Hopkins and rather scuffing the attempted cross. And yet it almost made something for Hopkins. Fandon Howe. will jump again and jump straight into Lawrenson. He had no chance at all of getting there first. And Lawrenson still feeling the effects of the clumsy attempt of Harford to reach the ball. kick to Liverpool Blake the offender on that occasion Dalglish it might drop for him and rush off the bar and over Birmingham in problems of their own making Billy Wright tried to play it back and almost laid it on a plate for Rush. It was only the half block by Coton and then the bar that stopped the ball dropping in. And Walk wants a corner and it's not forthcoming. Blake, it's a short goal kick that really put him in trouble. Liverpool may pounce here and Rush may pounce. Ian Rush blocked the first time by Coton and the second time it's wide and it all stems from a sloppily taken short goal kick because Liverpool sensed that Noel Blake wasn't comfortable in possession it finally came for Rush whose shot was in fact blocked by Roberts as the goalkeeper changed direction and then Rush put it wide past Kennedy but Roberts was drawn in field if he'd made his run straight down the line the ball would have curled into his stride Vanden Hal Harford urging tired limbs forward and Grobola has lost it he does mark what has been an outstanding display here there's a moment of extravagance and how angry his teammates would be with him if Birmingham scored from this corner there's no direct threat from Harford Rogers with the corner and Grobola for Harford well a chapter of errors tongue-in-cheek it may well be from Harford but Grobola presented Birmingham City with the moment there to save perhaps their first division lives and Mick Harford from some eight yards missed it cool it's a tired effort soon as Here's Kennedy. check with the linesman we're into any time that he wants to add on for stoppages and the final whistle and Mick Harford who in the last two seasons has provided the goals to keep Birmingham City in the first division 
missed the golden opportunity to collect three important points here. So it's one point each, and the implications of the draw really to be found on other fields. But Liverpool have now won only one of their last five league games. And Birmingham must hope that the confidence gained from holding the champions here will help bring reward in their last two matches. A final score at St Andrews, it's Birmingham City nil, Liverpool nil.